Mr. Chess here today, and we are back with Back to the Future, episode 5. This is the final episode in the series. It's kind of sad, but you know, we're going to get right on into it. We're going to hit new game, so let's go. Do we want to go? Yes, show goals. I need help. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I get to do cringy dancing. Oh, it's the last one. So sad. Sad day. Oh, we're looking at a map. Try my best cringy dance over here. Dancing. And we're dancing. Cringy dancing. I don't really know what to do. Brainwaves in you. Can't stop now though. Wait, where did the mind maps go? Why is there two for Biff? Wait, why is this back in it? Wait. What's happening? I'm trying to dance, but I'm also very confused. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Ugh. Uh, Emmett, uh, uh, where are you? Who? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Okay. Um. Yeah, I Why guess didn't you wake I'm gonna me up? ask. I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How long has it been since you slept? Aside from being knocked unconscious, uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, anyway, I really don't know. I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. Uh oh. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I uh. That looks dangerous. I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Good. It's fantastic. Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll. Damn. What? It's Edna. But what? Wait, no! Wait, okay, no! Emmett, one static uh -oh. accumulator uh -oh. coming up. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Did I put that in my pocket? Please tell me I don't put that in my pocket. How do I have room for that in my pocket? Organic algae cake? Oh, what is happening here? Oh. That lag. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, are you sure? okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh... Where have you been? Where have you been all night? I've been driving around, looking up old friends, thinking things over. What do you mean by old okay. friends? So you don't that, have any old I'm friends. Bill for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And and some lightning. Yeah. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Oh, he Doc, scares me. He I realized that it me. wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Here we go. Doc. It what? Was science. Whoa! Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, you that. can't give up science. You love science. You do love science. Correction. My younger self loves science, but if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the what end, what are you all doing? His dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back no! and steer him down another path. No. No. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used no! you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. Exactly. Use my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. Are you serious? But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to. That means she used your ambition. science for bad. It doesn't mean it's science's fault. She used your inventions for evil. That's like if I wanted to use this microphone, you know, to hit somebody in the head with it. It doesn't mean that the person should stop making microphones because I hit somebody with it. Like, jeez, I don't even know what the heck that example was, but I think it made sense. <laughs> Even if you screw up like, Emmett's you know? chances at the expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. 
He's too committed. He really you is, though. He's really like committed. After he fails at the expo, he you don't know me like I do. And Edna's that already must arranged be weird to a say. romantic little trip up to the lake. No! I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Seriously! I, I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine. In it. Are you kidding no. me? What the hell? Doc! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Gosh, it's in the sky, isn't it? I hear it. Okay, we're gonna jump on this truck. Can we jump on this truck? They won't let me move out of this frame. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh come on. Jeez, you forgot. Seriously? Did not sign yeah, up for this. Static thingy. I didn't sign up for this. Okay, why am I chasing it around here for? Oh, that's why. Okay. Climb the lamppost. I don't know why I'm climbing a lamppost. This is not what I intended on doing gotcha. today. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Uh, it didn't sound too good. Did I make a mistake? Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> uh, oops. I guess. Uh, oh, I guess not. Oh, uh oh. Trixie is here. That guy is here. Forgot his name. Cue ball. The future is coming today. She's still alive to be here. New tomorrow on the way. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Edna? Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wonders wander on display. Because the future is coming today. Don't ask. Not bad. I have no eh? idea where that came from. Bad at all, but I thought you fired her. Yeah, so did I. I found a loophole. Ooh! Kind of loophole. Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right. Okay, All right. I got it. Say, don't you have to get that what you call it to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. The future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future is coming. This place actually looks so cool. There we go. That's fantastic. Find him its booth and deliver. I wanna. Oh. Yeah, I just realized I don't know what his booth looks like. Let's go figure out what Enna's doing and see if we can, you know, hurt her. And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective. Wait, but what? You mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Callahan. Uh, where is Emmett? Where's Emmett? Is he missing? Don't you recognize a ploy when you see one? Now, do your duty. Do what? Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. What? I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who no. manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. No. Uh, he does the his own thing. Electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just helped. What's your point? Oh, I think exactly. you know exactly what my point is. No, I don't. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I exactly. had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Harry Callahan really is. Oh, really? Who, and who am where I? he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Harry? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. <laughs> An anarchist, a foreign agitator <laughs> bent on sowing chaos what? and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. Annie, you don't believe oh any gosh, of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. 
I don't know how long I've been Come here. recording for. Oh gosh, I didn't realize that until now. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. <laughs> She's been getting some clout in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. It does! And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Yeah, seriously, what can Not I unless do? Unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. You got it! I'm your guy! Well... I'll dig Girl, something up. whatever. You I'm, I'm here. I can do meantime, it. You and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he anyway? I don't know! Wait, you haven't seen him? That's what and I'm what? trying to do. Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Oh, Maybe you my gosh. Him. No, I have not. You're Weirdo. letting him Crazy go? lady. This radical subversive? Just like that? You have no proof that okay, I did anything. So I gotta what are you going to do? Emmett. Arrest me for breaking you guys and up? I didn't know that was Edna. a crime. I actually had fun breaking them up. I don't feel bad about it whatsoever. Yo, Trixie girl. I have a favor to ask you. Hi, Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. Sorry. You're right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Yeah. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you for? I need help. Uh. That. Look, Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag. That's what I need. Or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry. I don't set the roster, and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. Trixie! You can't. Come hey, on! It's We're just a, team. a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. Uh, it kinda is! Okay, well, uh. Pff. There we go. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Exactly! Uh, have you seen Emmett you at seen all? Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Oh, or something. no. Oh. Uh, yeah, how'd you get a job oh, back, You told actually? me how you managed to get your old job back. Uh, he did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Uh, he didn't tell you anything. Dang it! Just wanna be... Just wanna snoop. So, which exhibits do you What's recommend? What's wrong with that? The most popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Who's that? Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. Yeah, how do I how get tickets? How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here. You'll yes! You're like family now, you know? We are, though! Nice. We are, Trixie! You're my sister! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see... What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Wait, time is to go let's on. see... Eight kilobeats past fifty. Huh? We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. Okay! Thanks! But I got Happy tickets! Okay, I am gonna go talk. Oh my gosh, you always look so mad. I don't know why he... He always looks mad. Okay, can we, like, walk here? Like... Okay. Let's go in here. Why not? I want to have Welcome some fun. To the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly <laughs> his castle. Here, gratification is just wait, wait. always. What is this? I really like the furniture. Away. It's kind of cool. What? In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by fleets of fruit bearing helicopters. Helicopters bring fruit? Duh. Oh, it's wax. It's not even real? I mean, that's kind of cool, though. Okay. Green button! What does this one do? In 
the I'm having so much fun. Phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Oh, hey! I can call somebody! Klondike 4385. Brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. <laughs> I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. What adventure? Thanks. Bye. Farewell. Farewell. Terminated. Cool. I just like doing this. Okay, what's the blue button do? This is so cool. Chinese checkers and everything. Wow. Oh, that didn't really do anything. What else can I press? Oh, nothing else. Okay, we're gonna exit. Okay, cool, this was fun. I had a lot of fun, what the heck? Okay, yeah, I wanna go over here now. Can I... Light awaits you under the sea. I'm going under Here's the sea. my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea less I don't know what I'm doing, but... I'm having fun right now. I don't even care, like, Emmett who right now. Seriously, though. Hopefully I don't have to redo all this stuff later. Can I actually, like, beat him in that? I can't? Uh. Well? That's no fun. Heavy. Monsieur has a way with you. Thank you! <laughs> Actually, can I talk to you? Enlightenment awaits. Excuse me, Mr. Duto, Jacques Duto, at your service. Ah, uh, hi. Um, yes. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look. That's him. Yeah, Any idea where distracted. he went? He just passed fire with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the house of glass. Great, thanks. Okay, on my way! How do I get over there? House of glass, house of glass, house of glass. Is it this way? I feel like it's this way. Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. He's weird! He's a butler! You can never trust butlers! Don't trust a butler! Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, we're going in here. I got tickets. Thank you, Trixie! She's literally the best right now. Like, she is a lifesaver. Literally. <laughs> I like it. She's like, it's not a matter of life or death. Hands me tickets. Yes. I Glass. don't care. The future of domestic life. Yeah, it okay, seems Emmett. really Let's weird. Get you out of here. Okay, yeah, no. Emmett! 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 Don't listen to him. He Bang crazy. on the glass. It scares I'm fish. It'll scare them sure too. I'm about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass, unbreakable, and soundproof. Dang it! Soundproof just, glass. Wait, why couldn't Great. you just bang on? Wait, how is that a thing? Can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in, or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Why would I need a banquet hall? Greetings again. Trixie, shut up, please. Tiffany, muse of progress. Hoping you're all having How can I hear her? I thought this was soundproof. Exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Oh, dang it. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Slide this open. Just open it. Go. Okay. Open this one. Okay, cool. Open this one. Darn it, I'm stuck here. Okay. Okay. No, no. Go down the stairs. Let's go down the stairs. I'm just gonna open all of these doors. Like, I don't really know why I need to open them all, but we're just gonna open them all. Open! Okay, right, go through. Go. No. Marty. No. Through here. Okay, open this one. Open it. We need to get through. Okay, go over here. Open it. Go, go, go. Life and death, Marty! Life and death here, buddy! Something's blocking it. What is blocking it? You've got... Are you lying to me right now? 
<gasps> what is blocking it? Ooh, this is blocking it. Okay, we'll close this. Close it. Dang it, I didn't want to have to close that because I figure I'm going to have to open that, like, later on. So I don't want to have to close it. Okay, well, it turns out I had to close it. Okay, cool. Go through here. Let's go. Do I need to open that? No, we're going to open this one. This place is like a fun house. Dang it! Don't! Dude! He just chloroformed him! What? What? Doc! Maybe you were evil this whole time and it wasn't even Edna! Like, seriously, right now, I don't even know what to do. Okay, I don't know where to go. I'm, like, so confused. Okay. Okay, open this one. Let's go. We gotta get through here. Uh, I don't know what to do. Like, nobody's talking. Like, I can't hear anything because it's soundproof. Back up! Where? Whoa! Take That's now, cool! Doc. Dang it! Does this help us in any way? Right, this one's a phone, that's an entertainment system, that one's a fruit basket. That doesn't help. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Okay. Okay. You again. Help. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. Yeah. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Uh. I know you're in there, Doc. 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 Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I feel no! What you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with them? Stop! Emma? Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors! I'm not assaulting him! You don't him. understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? You ball! That won't be necessary. Do Trixie. you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not! No, it's not. It's... Please, keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. Are you If you've got a complaint me? against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Marty! <clears throat> Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. Hmm. I have to ask you these questions, the don't let me not. Professor Duteau. I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I'm I like sure your I attitude. Like kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold blooded guy, Duteau. Yeah. Stay Okay, I can't just not. I can't exit. I have to. I have to Take ask. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinus nerves. Hmm. Really? I have to Where ask. Did you this. stash Emmett in the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know. Yeah, what exactly. About. I think I'm gonna take a closer look I think at I that am. bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey, is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Cue ball. It's good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> I have tickets. Dude, I have a ticket. Okay, hang on. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country. Okay, salah, salah. Uh, okay, still has to honor his contract as Missouri, doesn't he? 
Uh, according to an office of free ride in a bath street. Got it. I was going to try handing a ticket to him, but... Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's a, yeah. uh, the, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Really? Oh, give me a break. Next up on our no! roster, a man who saw the possibilities in pond scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Trixie! Thanks, Trixie. Uh, uh, technique. I I'm truly honored to be here today among all you pointy headed type people. Like the lady said, I labor in the field of pawn scum. Algae what do you do? Down. Give me a break. And little known oh, Trixie, I have a question. Help me! Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? Uh, there you go. See that bathosphere? Emmett's inside that bathosphere. That's nice. Nice? He's a captive. Of Jacques de Toe? Of Carl Sagan. Oh, yeah, I think I've got what you need. The Hill Valley Expo may prove overwhelming to those of a delicate disposition. If you are feeling confused or disoriented, try these simple steps. One, put your head between your knees. I don't have time for this! Never mind. Thanks anyway. Thanks. I don't have time for this! Okay. He's approaching. He's approaching? Excuse me! Hey, Dan, uh, I have a word with you. Comrade Schmirnoff, come to turn yourself in. That's not even my real name! Private, with pleasure. Oh, he's happy to get away from her. Uh... Who listens to Edna? No, seriously, though. Oh, right, I need dirt on Edna! Dang it! Um... You've got to let Emma demonstrate what his I'm invention. To his whole here. future depends on it. I'd love to, kid, but Miss Strickland thinks it's dangerous. Unless you've got something on her, her word is pretty much law. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah, who listens to Anna? Okay, I need dirt on her. Uh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Thanks. I'll be back. Oh, I hope so. Ugh. You've got to get this albatross I'm off my neck. I am my best. Did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Trixie, stop it! Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and do, guys. sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Oh, algae cake. I will cake. be back later algae to cake. highlight algae another cake. of okay. our okay. fine okay. exhibitors. Okay. See you soon. Okay, Trixie. Okay, get out of the way, Trixie. I think I actually may have a, 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 an idea. Detective Daniel Park. Now, where were we? Okay, what is Mr. Parker doing on that list? Okay, okay. Our, okay, algae cake, algae cake. Okay, actually, I need hints. I need help. I don't know what to do. Refuse to take a part. To, that's a cause for a complaint. Okay. Okay. Well, I was going to complain to Artie, but Convention I mean. Convention special! Two free algae cakes with every visit! Hey, Artie. Hey, Artie. What do you help? think? Quite a setup, huh? The it's cute! Expo? It's adorable! Well, sure. But I was wondering. I need help. There we go. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a P ticket. Okay. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Thanks. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refused to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the path of speed. Okay. Doc, don't kill me. He doesn't know what he's doing, does he? I'm scared. My dear, what is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid <sighs> I cannot raise the atmosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, uh... I work on the problem. Perhaps we should come back later. Okay, there's gotta be something I can do up here. Come down, please. The bathosphere is. Oops! Step back! You're creeping the hole! 
Am I? What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. It's an old wonderful superstition. A crimp horse needs <laughs> imminent doom. It does, does if there's it? somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. I did. There's not. <laughs> I can wait here all I day. Can't you uncrimp that horse? Can't you see he's messing with us? There's nothing wrong with those gears. Monsieur Dutot is doing his best to fix the exhibit. Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. I'm not hovering. I demand you uncrimp that hose. You demand me to what? I demand you I'm get sorry. Out of that I'm I can't hear you. Okay. I I don't know who <laughs> what. Hey. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. <laughs> I wish you would. Well, I know. Oh, me too. There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? You know? It gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Yeah, exactly. You get no you air. Ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. No! Fine. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Exactly. I command you one. Okay, hang on. May not have Emmett just interest at heart, but of course he wouldn't want any actual harm to befall his young counterpart. Marty would never harm Emmett either, but does Susan Brown know this for sure? From the platform, step on the bathosphere's air hose. I have! Bring that hose! I demand you let Emmett out of that bathosphere. I... I don't know... Who... Who was your... Hey! Yo! Dude! Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. I know he's in there. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Seriously. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Exactly. I command you uncrimp that hose. I'm stuck here, though. The platform stuff on the bathosphere's air hose. I've done that. I demand you let Emmett out of that bathosphere. I, I don't know. What am I supposed to do What's here? What talking about? I'm not going anywhere. No, I guess you're not, but I can't wait here all day. I've got an expo to run. I know that. Okay, I what else you can I do? Wait, 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 wait. I demand wait, you let Emmett out of that bathroom. Something lit up over here. I, I don't know who, what you're talking about. That's better. Mercy. Okay. I did that. Well, let's just step on it again. What up? Step back. You're cripping the hole. Oops. What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? I it's stepped on it. Oh. Again. I don't know what oh, I'm supposed sorry. to do. Uh, I'm stuck here from platform and step on the bathosphere's air hose. Step off the hose! Raise the bathosphere, Doc. Hey! You know what I've happens tried when the all air runs of this. out. I don't know what you. I'm supposed to do here. I command you uncrimp that. Hose! I demand you let Emmett out of that bathosphere. What can I do with this? Can I do I, anything with this? I don't know. Probably not. What? Shoot! That's better. Mercy. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. I have to figure out something else to do. I'm like not ready for that yet. I must have missed something. Algae cakes! How about an algae cake? Yeah. Sure thing, mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? What? I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! Yeah, exactly. You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. 
Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, Buster. Dang it! Hey! You cannot... Okay. I have another complaint hey, already. Already. Uh... Dang it. See you around. What do I need to do? I tried that. It's not working. It didn't work. Oh, yeah. He thought that I liked his wife. That's why I forgot about that. Yo, what's up, Doc? I think I'll climb the ladder and just hang out until you get it fixed. Suit yourself. You may be in for a long way. Okay. What do I have to do here? There's got to be something I could do. Arthur McFly. Step back! You're gripping the hose! Oops! What does it matter if there's no I don't know in the what to do for this, guys. I'm it's seriously stuck. Oh, sorry. Mercy. What do I have to do? I have to do something. Like, I'm stuck here. Uh, him. I know I have to do that stuff on the bathroom's air hose. I've done that. And I'm not getting anywhere. I think I... For I have to talk so to somebody. Like, I missed something somewhere, I believe. Yeah. I have to figure out who I have to talk to. Like, I got it. Trixie, I I need dirt on and a pot plant. Ah, oh, this might come A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? Thanks. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. Oh! A plant, but it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. He's the kind of guy who talks to plants. Oh, now I got a different thing to do. Still around the expo might do you some good. Still upset about Enna's meddling. Get your mind up. Trips up the future furnishing exhibit. Gotta pick up something nice for yourself while you're there. How about a pot of plants? You got it, and uh, I'm gonna go buy you some valley. flowers, and uh, cause I need to destroy you before I can fix Emmett. Into the house of the future I go to buy myself a plant. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Oh, there's the flowers. This home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. Okay, I need these flowers. Give me it. All right, we're gonna take the other this one. This plant doesn't belong it. here. There's nothing futuristic about it. You're right. Time to make a plant switch. Go, go, go. Plant, switch it up. We're gonna switch plants. I'm like way too into this right now. Nobody will know. Pull plants out of my pocket. The next exhibitor on our list ah! is Officer Danny Parker ah! of the Hill Valley Police Force. Okay, now where do I put Officer these flowers? Do I put them back in the house? A few of the many marvelous tools that oh. our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly okay, met the Trixie, match like, today. I have some stuff I have to do. Officer Can you like Parker? shush real quick? I know I've been recording for a while. Already. Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Okay, cool, let's get out of here. Okay, we have places in the house, right? Got perfect privacy. So you're trapped by placing the bug flowers in the phone booth. Oh, what up? Flowers look beautiful. 
in Okay, call me a snoop. Joanna! <gasps> oh my gosh, I can call the booth! Okay, I'm calling the booth. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do this! I know this episode is probably like really long, guys, and I apologize, but I'm having way too much fun to stop now. <laughs> this episode, I'm having way too much fun. I need to stop, though. Like, Welcome after I call, I'll, I'll stop. Tomorrow. But I'm having, like, way too much fun. Way too much fun. I'm having so much fun right now. This is fun! Phone button. <laughs> in the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the phone. Okay, we gotta go call the phone booth. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up. I don't remember it, hopefully. He knows it instead. Phone booth of the future. Like four, two, five, three. Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Check Me News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Uh, Kid Tan, Carl Sagan. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, Edna. You put Edna Strickland on the phone for me. Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland, somebody actually wants to talk to you. <laughs> Oh, it's actually really funny. Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. How about that plan? Uh... Your dark secret! Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that! As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, 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 pin what on him, exactly? Yeah, what all oh, are we talking about? It. it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, that was uh... the dog's fault. If he hadn't come galumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. She's the speakeasy arsonist. We already Carl, knew this! Is somebody with you? <laughs> no, it's just you and me. You know, oh, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. That's right! Every night they'd open we up their doors that, serving though. illegal like we, drinks and we? loose I thought women, we all knew that. flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. That's, I took that's action. Excited. Oh, I have to wait such till a next gorgeous episode, so action it, it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. How crazy is she? Where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did yeah. you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Very nice. What? Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I know! The confession's good enough for Parker. It better be. I'm gonna get those flowers. And we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna save. But like, I thought everybody knew she burned down the speakeasies though. I thought we already went over this. Like, I thought we knew this. Or our, I knew it. I think I said it in video a few times. Like, when she's like, burn down speakeasies. I was like, I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> like, <gasps> no way. No, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Me too. Okay, I got to save here, guys. I'm so sorry to leave it off here. But at least we get to see what happens in the next episode. So if you like this episode, leave a like down below. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but hey, you know, it was cool. I had a lot of fun. I really wanted to do something. So yeah, I don't know where that outro was. Like I really wanted to just like do something exciting like that. I feel like a spy. Like it feels so cool. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, leave a like down below and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! So cool. Way too cool. I'm having so much fun in this place!